Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Before we dive into today's message, I'd like to ask for your help in strengthening our community. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button right now. Your participation is essential in spreading God's word. Also, if this message touches your heart, don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's get into today's meditation. Our theme is Choosing Faith Over Fear, based on 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which tells us, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This passage reminds us that, as children of God, we've been equipped with powerful tools to face life's challenges with courage and confidence. Fear is a natural emotion and, to some extent, necessary for our survival. It alerts us to potential dangers and helps us take precautions. However, when fear becomes paralyzing, preventing us from living fully and fulfilling God's purpose for our lives, it becomes a problem. It's at this point that we're called to choose faith over fear. But what does it really mean to choose faith over fear? It's not about denying the existence of fear or pretending we're not worried. Instead, it's about recognizing our apprehensions and still taking a step forward, trusting that God is with us and empowers us. We see examples of this throughout the Bible. Think of Moses, who initially felt inadequate to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt. He expressed his fears to God but chose to trust and obey, becoming one of the greatest leaders in Israel's history. Or consider David facing the giant Goliath. Surely he must have felt fear, but his faith in God was greater, allowing him to face and defeat a seemingly invincible enemy. Faith is not the absence of fear, but trust in God despite fear. It's believing that, as Romans 8.31 tells us, if God is for us, who can be against us? This confidence allows us to move forward even when we don't see the complete path ahead. The Apostle Paul, writing to Timothy, was well aware of the challenges and dangers the early Christians faced. Persecution, rejection, and even the threat of death were daily realities. Yet, he encourages Timothy, and by extension all of us, not to be dominated by fear, but to trust in the spirit of power, love, and sound mind that God has given us. The power mentioned by Paul isn't worldly power, based on physical strength or political influence. It's the power of the Holy Spirit working in us, enabling us to do things that go beyond our natural abilities. It's the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, as Ephesians 1:19 through 20 reminds us. When we rely on this power, we discover resources we didn't know we had to face our fears and challenges. Love is another powerful antidote to fear. 1 John 4.18 tells us that perfect love casts out fear. When we're secure in God's love for us, and when we allow that love to flow through us to others, many of our fears lose their power over us. Love gives us the courage to take risks, to forgive, to serve, even when it seems scary. A sound mind, or self-control as some translations put it, is equally crucial. It allows us to maintain calm and mental clarity in stressful situations. It helps us not to react impulsively to fear, but to respond with wisdom and discernment. Proverbs 29:11 reminds us that a fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. Choosing faith over fear is a decision we need to make daily, sometimes moment by moment. It's not something that happens automatically, it requires practice and intentionality. It's like a muscle that strengthens with constant use. A practical way to strengthen our faith is through regular meditation on God's Word. Joshua 1, 8 encourages us. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. When we fill our minds with God's promises and truth, we create a solid foundation that can withstand the storms of fear and doubt. Prayer is another powerful tool in the battle against fear. In Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7, Paul advises us, Do not be anxious about anything, 
but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer not only connects us with God, our source of strength and peace, but also helps us gain perspective on our concerns. Another important strategy is to surround ourselves with a community of faith. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 to 25 exhorts us, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. When we share our fears and struggles with other believers, we receive support, encouragement, and perspective. Sometimes, the faith of others can sustain us when our own seems to falter. It's crucial to remember that choosing faith over fear doesn't mean we'll never experience failures or disappointments. The Christian life isn't exempt from challenges or sufferings. Jesus himself warned us in John chapter 16, verse 33, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Our confidence isn't in the absence of problems, but in the presence and final victory of Christ. Sometimes our fears can seem so big and overwhelming that we feel paralyzed. In these times, it's important to remember that we don't need to conquer all our fears at once. We can start with small steps of faith. As the saying goes, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Each small act of trust in God, each decision to move forward despite fear, strengthens us and prepares us for greater challenges. One area where many of us struggle with fear is in sharing our faith with others. We may fear rejection, ridicule, or conflict. However, 2 Timothy 1 verse 8 encourages us, Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. When we choose faith over fear in this area, we not only obey God's call to be His witnesses, but we also experience the power and joy of seeing lives transformed by the gospel. Fear can also prevent us from fully using the gifts and talents God has given us. We may fear failure, criticism, or the responsibility that comes with using our gifts. The parable of the talents in Matthew 25, verses 14 to 30, reminds us of the consequences of allowing fear to prevent us from using what God has entrusted to us. When we choose faith over fear in this area, we discover the joy of serving God and others with our unique abilities. Another common area of struggle is fear of the future. Uncertainties about health, finances, relationships, or direction in life can leave us anxious and worried. However, Jesus encourages us in Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Choosing faith over fear in this area means trusting that God, who has taken care of us so far, will continue to do so in the future. It's important to recognize that some fears may be the result of painful or traumatic past experiences. In these cases, choosing faith over fear may be a longer and more complex process, possibly requiring professional help in addition to spiritual support. God often uses Christian counselors, therapists, and doctors as part of his process of healing and restoration. Sometimes our fear can disguise itself as prudence or wisdom. We may rationalize our lack of action or our reluctance to obey God, claiming that we're being cautious or responsible. While wisdom is certainly a biblical virtue, we must be careful not to allow fear to hide behind a facade of prudence. True wisdom, as James 3.17 tells us, is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Choosing faith over fear also means being willing to forgive. The fear of being hurt again can prevent us from extending forgiveness to others, keeping us trapped in bitterness and resentment. However, Jesus commands us in Matthew 6, 14 to 15. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Choosing to forgive 
even when it's difficult or scary, is a powerful act of faith that frees us and aligns us with God's heart. An important aspect of choosing faith over fear is cultivating a mindset of gratitude. When we focus on our blessings and God's faithfulness in our past, we gain courage to face the future. Colossians 3.15 instructs us, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Gratitude helps us maintain perspective and remember God's loving and faithful character. Choosing faith over fear also involves actively seeking opportunities for growth and service, even when we feel inadequate or unprepared. Moses felt this way when God called him to lead the people of Israel, but God assured him in Exodus chapter 4 verse 12, Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall speak. When we take a step of faith in obedience to God, we often discover that He has already equipped us with everything we need for the task. It's crucial to remember that choosing faith over fear isn't something we do in our own strength. It's an act of surrender and dependence on the Holy Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 encourages us, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. When we submit to the control of the Holy Spirit, he produces in us the fruit of the Spirit, which includes love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, as mentioned in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. These qualities strengthen us against fear and enable us to live lives of courageous faith. As we conclude our reflection on choosing faith over fear, remember that this is an ongoing journey. There will be days when faith comes easily and others when we'll have to struggle against fear. The important thing is not to give up, but to continue trusting in God and His promises. May we as individuals and as a community of faith embrace the spirit of power, love, and sound mind that God has given us. May our lives be a testimony to the difference faith makes, inspiring others to also trust in God amidst their fears and challenges. Before we close, I'd like to remind you again of the importance of engaging with our channel. If this message touched your heart, please leave a like and share your reflections in the comments. Your participation not only encourages us, but also helps spread this message to more people who might need to hear it. And if you're not a subscriber yet, don't forget to subscribe to receive more inspiring content like this. May God abundantly bless each of you, strengthening your faith and diminishing your fears. Until the next video.